welcome to squad school in this video we're gonna go over the foundation and the very basic aspect of many combat techniques which is leaning you need to be able to pull off a good lean to be able to do more advanced combat techniques such as fast peaking and counter peaking amongst the many others and i will show you some examples And this is my recommended settings when it comes to leaning. Open settings, press game, scroll all the way down to movement, and then make sure that lean mod is set to hold. It's almost impossible to do the more advanced leans if you have it on toggle or double tap, so you might as well get used to it from here on out. So the main reason for leaning is to minimize your exposure. Instead of sidestepping out from behind a wall or any kind of cover to shoot someone or to hold an angle, you should just lean out to the side instead. I see a lot of new players avoiding to use lean because it's a little harder to aim, so when you practice leaning, make sure to also get used to firing while leaning. One thing that you don't want to do is to stand up against the cover you're leaning out from, like on this picture. And it might not look so bad from this point of view, but this is how it might be seen from the other side. So if you have ever been killed without seeing anyone, that could be the reason. All you have to do to fix this is just to take a few steps back. Whenever you are on the defensive side of things, holding an angle or a large area, it's good to be leaning. It is possible to use leaning as an attacker, but try to avoid slow peeking corners when in a close range situation. As this clip shows, the attacker is both leaning and walking to the left to peek into the room, aka slow peeking, and as you can see, the defender will often get a huge advantage due to the fact that he will spot the attacker first. However, that's not always the case with the distance increases to mid to long range. The defender is often focused on a larger area and might not spot the attacker as fast. At long range, aim and timing weighs in much more than when in close range. There is another way to use leaning as an offensive tool. Let's say that my team gets killed when trying to enter a room. I now know where the enemy is and I'm trying to line up so I can shoot the enemy as soon as I can see him. But when I'm stepping to the right to try to spot the enemy, he sees me first and I die. What I could have done was this. I line up and I stop before the enemy can spot me. Then I do a perfect clean and now we will see each other at the same time. Depending on both of our crosshair placements and reflexes, I as the attacker can actually have the advantage. So we're gonna begin with getting into the Jensen's range. So we're gonna aim at this target's head and lean left and right. And as you can see, we're getting off target. Now practice leaning without getting off target. So now we're gonna practice to do good leans. We're gonna try to hit this left target. This is a good lean, where you can only see the target intended, and this is a bad lean. If you can see more than the target you want to shoot at, then it's a bad lean, you're overextending. So just go around, practice on corners, line up targets, and try to get a good lean. If you want to practice uh, shooting while leaning, you can download this mod from the workshop. It has moving targets, so it's uh, very suitable for target practice.
so leaning on its own might not be enough if you're going up against an experienced player, but it can give you the edge that you need to come out on top. If you really want to be able to go head to head against better players, you're going to need more tools in your combat kit. So don't miss out on the upcoming episodes of Squad School, and if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe so I know where to put my focus.